All right, so GoPro makes this dog harness thing for dogs, hence the name dog harness for dogs. And so we're gonna throw the GoPro on there and see just how it does when we've got Bruce running around here with the GoPro strapped on him to uh, see what he sees. I will admit when I first put it on him, he wasn't super stoked about having it on. He kind of acted like he had like a sweater vest or something on. Um, but as soon as we started walking around, he seemed fine with it. And we've been walking now for a couple miles and it hasn't seemed to bother him yet. So let's throw the GoPro on there and check it out. So here we've got the GoPro mounted on the uh, dog's back, of course, as you can tell while he's walking around. Now when he's just walking, it actually does a really good job of uh, stabilizing. Um, now this was shot in 4K30, so we've got stabilization uh, on there right now. But you can tell when he starts to run, it really starts to jiggle back and forth. And part of that is just because the way it sits on the actual harness, it kind of sits a little bit higher up. So as he's running his dog shoulder blades, I guess, push up on the, the mount and cause it to rock back and forth. So you're not going to want to shoot a whole video and do a 25 minute you know, long thing of your dog walking around, but it does get you a really cool perspective from the dog's point of view. So if you're playing fetch or anything like that. So it is uh, pretty interesting in that regard uh, to be able to throw that on there and, you know, kind of get a, a dog eye view basically of what your dog is seeing. Now GoPro does specify that this fits dogs from 15 pounds all the way up to 120. So it'll fit most dogs. Um, everything's fully adjustable and uh, the mount is even washable as well. So that way if your dog is you know, getting muddy or just a dog in general, um, you'll actually be able to clean it and uh, not worry about anything getting ruined. Of course, they also recommend using a tether um, because although the, the mount for the GoPro works pretty well, it is possible especially like the dog is kind of going sideways or angled a little bit for the camera to get hit by something and maybe even get knocked off so use a tether um, just to make sure that you don't end up losing your camera because that would suck to have your dog run off and come back with no camera and gopro has two mounts so there's one on the top and then there's one on the bottom too once i put it on the uh the bottom part here it does get you a really cool perspective um, when he's standing there because it kind of gets his dog mouth and everything but as soon as he starts to move um, it is all over and this is just kind of us walking as you can tell not even sprinting really kind of a cool view but you're really not going to use that video for very much now the dog fetch dog harness for gopros does come in uh, kind of steep considering what it is it's 40 bucks um, but again it's the gopro quality so it is you know nicer than some of the other alternatives that you might find but i don't know necessarily that it would be that much better than running just sort of a generic one but either way it does get you some cool perspectives and uh if you've got a dog it's worthwhile you know throw them up, throw it on there and uh, see how they like it and everything at first like i mentioned the dog wasn't too pleased about having it on there but after he had it on and we were walking around he totally forgot that he was even wearing it and the rest of the hike it wasn't a problem even after i took the camera off but left the harness on there of course, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the like button below and comment if you have any questions.